folks. <clears throat> I thought I'd show you this. I've changed coils now. And I'm using the ironless coil. And it's running just like a monopole motor. And I'm going to show you the waveforms. But there's the transistor again, the diode to recover back to this battery. And then the negative of this battery back to the positive of the run battery. And uh, so what I want to do is I want to show you the waveform. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit better. I don't think so because of the way the tube is and the way the lights are here. But that, that looks a little bit better. But let's expand this wave out so you can see the ironless coil. Totally different waveform on this versus the iron. So let's see if I can expand this out. And you can see that the ironless coil rings. And I'll see if I can catch one of those. You can see it ringing out to the end. Let's see if I can get a little bit better here. It's kind of hard to trigger it. And then we'll just move this over. Expand that out. And go find it, I guess. Well, let's get it in there. But anyway, you can see it ringing right there, and that's what an ironless coil does. Now, if I take the battery off, you can see what's happening here. I have to turn it down now. That's all the wasted energy in the circuit. So we'll put the battery back on it to recover the energy. And then the, this, of course, looks just like the monopole wave. And let's see if we can get this triggered a little bit better. There we go. It's sort of a nice looking wave. That's an ironless monopole with recovery. So you understand how to recover the energy, which is from this diode, and it's just running away. And you can see here, we'll just let it start up. And it comes into view. So that's about 2 volts per division. So if I move this down, 2, 4, almost 6 volts. And then when it goes into the spike, it goes up over 90 volts. So thanks. I'm glad I'll let you see the circuit again. The recovery battery is off to the right. And by the way, this timing for this, the coil is actually facing this direction. And so you can see it here, it's facing this direction. The magnets are out here. And the degrees here from this point is 60 degrees. Seems to run the best right there. But I've made this so you can adjust this, this, you know, right or left on the, on the wheel. But it seems to be right at exactly, it wants to run at about 60 degrees. And it just falls butt right there. So the wave once again. The red line you see is a trigger that I'm setting. So I want to trigger on the edge here. And I'll see if I can get that expanded out so you can see it. The ring that I'm talking about is right here. See? And that just rings right out. 
if I can get it in there and then you can see it. Uh, I'd have to move it over, so. I've lost it again. But anyway, you get the idea. That's ringing right there. That's the coil actually ringing. And that's the waveform. So it's quite different than the iron coil. Thanks for watching.